Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Pal World and I'm going to show you how to catch the legendaries over on Pal World. It's pretty simple. You just need to go to the different certain wildlife sanctuaries. Each individual wildlife sanctuary is going to have its own individual rare creatures that can spawn on that zone. And uh, you kind of just have to scout them out and find them. The reason that I'm going to this one at night is because there's an increased chance of the number three wildlife uh, sanctuary to have the rares spawn at night. They are just random, by the way. It's not like you can get lucky or unlucky. I mean, you literally have to get lucky. I take that back, right? Um, so you have to get lucky in order to spot them. This one has three of the dragon types. And uh, yeah, so it's super easy. Um, but if you do not spot them when you go over here, the best thing you can do is just come back at a later time. You want to make sure that you're pretty well kitted up at least level 40. You're going to want some cold resistant uh, armor and then a weapon of some sort is usually a good idea. You don't necessarily need one, but it's probably a good idea. Um, so you can on this violent island find Incineram Nox, just so you can see right here, right? This is one. And uh, hello, buddy. I'm sorry. You just have to go inside of a ball right now. Uh, wow, I didn't realize that I, that's what I had out. I had a bad ball out. Um, you're going to need at least Ultra Spheres, by the way, um, because the percentage wise, you're not going to be able to tame anything level 40 plus unless you have at least that. You can technically get away with doing the Hyper Spheres below that level, but it's not a very good probability. And Legendary Spheres are even better because you're going to want to catch the legendary creatures and you will need access to the legendary spheres in order to really do it. You can see that for some reason, I don't know why they seem to have a, even though it's a 55% chance, that's what, ball number four, ball number five. Now you can take them down to the, the with an inch of their health and that tends to help just a little bit. You can see right there, we've raised it up to 65 instead, um, but they will be able to get out many times. So just make sure you've got a whole bunch of your backup balls ready to go. Now. If you have a flyer, that makes this process a lot easier. Um, and just, just so you can see the coordinates that I'm at, by the way, this is the upper right island number three, and it's past the actual sand dunes zone. There's one right here. There's one in the bottom middle of the map, and then there's one on the left side of the map. Now, the PIDF elites are also here. So when you are catching these things and they see you, by the way, you are going to get a little bit of a... Um, a warning if you want to think of it that way which means they're just going to chase you down to the best of their ability which doesn't always work super well for them because they're not very good at their job uh, especially like if you're level 40 plus they can't do enough damage to you to really be concerned with but uh yeah so that's what it is now these are though they are rare creatures the bushy the incineram knocked and um i think there's one more Feng fengalope you can get on this island um but it's not they're not the ones you're looking for it's just random you kind of just have to go around and hope for the best Obviously, I'm just going to fly to see if I can show you one, but I don't see one at this moment in time, which is unfortunate. Now, what you can do is you can log out here and then log back in and it'll reset the creature spawns. It doesn't work every time, but it does occasionally give you a little bit of a boost. Um, nope, there's one right there. Astagon. Perfect, actually. So you can go back to base and reset. So Astagon is a legendary. You will need COA's level 45. Ultra spheres will work. Legendary spheres are better, though. Um, you can see that I'm going to go ahead and use my creature to go ahead and soak a little bit. And then even a legendary sphere is going to be a 30% rate on him. Uh, man, really? Come on now. There we go. Okay. So Astagon is considered a legendary. And let's see if we can get him in that ball right there. Come on. There we go. All right. 100% chance on that one. So Astagon will, uh, you can see a savage beast born into the abyss, and that is how you catch them. Now, again, it is completely random. They just spawn at random intervals. And let's go ahead and see if we can find the Astagon. Where is he? I don't see him here. There he is. All right, so there's Astagon. And uh, yeah, uh, beast uh, born of the abyss, thou shall not stand before the beast, thou shall not heed the beast. But yeah, this one is super cool. Um, that's one of the rares you can find on this island. The other two, one is the electric. I can't remember the last one. But all three of the islands have at least three special creatures that you can use in order to actually get a hold of on those islands. So that is how you can actually catch these legendary creatures and make your game a lot more fun. It's fun to kind of spawn over them these every now and then just check it, take a chance and hope they're over here. But anyways, hopefully this video helps you out and kind of like shows you that it's more of just a time game than it is anything else. But you can get them. It just it's just a process. Even then. 
the getting like things like the bushy and stuff like that are useful just due to the fact that they uh well you can see them over there they are not terrible they just take a little bit of time and they're very rare and only spawn in certain locations so yeah you definitely want to get a hold of these super rares and uh, the legendaries and hopefully this video helps you out and other than that teach